Hey Pisces, and welcome to your general love reading for the second half of June 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Pisces. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. And that is okay. If you would like a personal reading to get more specific, um, you can find all that information in the description box. And please remember that the roles in general readings can be reversed. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on with you and another person for the last couple weeks of June? All right, for the situation, oh, we have the Ace of Cups crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so definitely a, a connection where there's a lot of love, a lot of emotions. Um, I feel like something might be feeling kind of stuck, like it's just not moving in the direction that you feel it is meant to move in. Let's see. For you, we have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Okay. So it's like you're you're feeling like you want a commitment here, um, or you did. I don't know if maybe it just feels like things, something felt really, really serious. Um, maybe possibly more than you can handle, even though it also comes in as you feeling grounded, but it almost, yeah, it's kind of like you felt really grounded in this or within yourself or within wherever this connection was. But it almost feels like you're like taking a step back. And I don't mean taking a step back from the connection. It's more of, okay, you know what? I'm serious. Like I want um, commitment here. And then it feels like you're kind of reverting, like going back to like an earlier stage, like moving from the king to the page, like either wanting to slow down or just, okay, wanting to, see it again from an earlier stage like okay let's not be so serious let's keep things a little bit more light so moving from it things being really really serious are you feeling really serious to okay you know what let's just keep things a little bit more light-hearted hmm let's see for the other person we have the queen of swords strength and the Page of Wands. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with Leo. Um, of course, it could be any sign, um, but I am getting Leo, possibly an air sign as well. So I feel like the person that you're dealing with like may have been um, either a little bit distant or maybe just even from them, like things just felt... Um, I can't explain it. It's, it's like this very serious kind of a vibe where it could even be that this person then had like some expectations that kind of led you to, you know, wanting to kind of go back to having things being a little bit more just, you know, more fun, not necessarily just for fun or that there is nothing deeper because there is, all right, we have this Ace of Cups here starting off the reading. Um, but something like that. So this person, I don't know if they began to have like higher expectations or higher demands that maybe were not very favorable to you and not even necessarily in wanting more from you, although that could be the case. Um, but it could be, it could be about anything. Maybe even just demanding more space, for example. Um, I do see them working through something here though with strength. Possibly, you know, as you take that, kind of like taking that step back, like, okay, you know what, um, I don't know anymore, or, you know, I just want to go back to things being fun. I see them learning something big here. So we'll see more when we clarify. Um, but then it feels like, you know, they're beginning to see things from a different perspective as well. So this could be why things are feeling like they're not really moving because it's almost like the two of you have both taken a step back. It's like things were in a particular place and then it's something about that just didn't really work out. And so it's like you're kind of like, okay, let's go back a bit. 
Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Five of Wands. Okay, so maybe a little bit of competition here. Um, it's not necessarily bad. It can be a little bit conflictual, but again, we'll see when we clarify. Because I have this feeling that that Five of Wands, it's like that conflict or, you know, some kind of a disagreement is meant to come in so that the two of you can actually find what does work. And because, again, it's like there is love here. And, you know, what does work is going to be different for each of you. For some of you, it could be, you know, deciding to, um, you know, maybe part ways, at least for now, and then see where things go. Or for others of you, it might be actually finding the solution or maybe just, you know, having to do things like a lot differently than what they have been done up until this point. So let's see, let's clarify the Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Sun. All right, Leo showing up again. Yeah, there's definitely something here that didn't that didn't work out and because of that you know things just stopped moving moving forward even though again there is love here um and maybe there is this disagreement in terms of all right with the queen of pentacles showing up and you have the king of pentacles um in terms of what you where you stand or maybe even it being just something really trivial like you know the title of your connection uh, which really doesn't matter like labels are just that right? Because um, again, I do see that there is a potential for happiness here between the two of you. But again, something in terms of things just either being really serious or just really um, maybe in terms of commitment and what that means and, you know, what expectations do we have from each other. There's that just led to some kind of um, just not really working. Almost like all of a sudden feeling like you're not even compatible in a, in a way. Even though deep down though, you feel like, you know, there's so much love though. Okay, so let's see for your energy. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune again and the Page of Pentacles which we also had right here. So both of these cards were already on the table. Again, I feel like it's just the exact same message. It's like you wanting to turn the wheel back, back in time and go back and let's just start this part over. Or maybe just even from your end. Let's see the Page of Pentacles. The Five of Swords and the Page of Swords. Okay, so it's interesting because even though you're going back to like a more initial stage or an initial way of being, there's something about that that doesn't feel right either. Like it still feels off to you. And I feel like, you know, it's okay though because you need to explore that. It's like you're, you're being taken back to a previous state in order to, to explore that and in order to understand it. Maybe there was a, um, maybe it feels like there was a phase that was skipped over. And so that's why you're, you're being guided to go back to that. Hmm. Let's see the three of cups. The page of cups and the ace of swords. It, it's funny though because I feel like you know even though something about this feels off I do see you moving in the direction of at least you know figuring something out having some kind of clarity here especially in terms of your feelings or in terms of emotional expression and things just feeling lighter again and it's it's actually positive it's actually positive. I do see things, you know, for you at least, you know, beginning to feel a lot lighter and you feeling a bit more calm emotionally and feeling like, okay, you know, I am gaining this clarity over my, 
emotions and it actually feels better than how I was feeling before. <clears throat> so let's see for the other person. And I do also want to add um, that for some of you, this could even be like a coming back together with this person, but in a more like in a more loving way rather than before. It's like before there was just something so serious about it or about the expectations of this or I don't know if there was like, you know, sh shoulds or, you know, a sense of responsibility. So now I see you just being more open emotionally and able to enjoy feeling like you're able to enjoy, you know, whatever this might um, lead to or whatever is coming up next. Okay, so let's see for them. Let's see this Queen of Swords. All right, we have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Okay, so some of this person's behavior, I feel like it's coming from either like past past um, wounds that maybe have not been healed but they are in the process of healing healing these wounds and I feel like a lot of this healing is actually happening through certain dynamics that are going on between the two of you so I mean that could be anything <clears throat> But there is some kind of um, some kind of pain here that this person has been holding on to, and they are they are healing it. They are healing it through the connection with you, in a way. But it may have come off as I don't know, maybe a little bit cold towards you, or just um, this person just being like acting like they're really really strong. In a way, but it, again, it's like it's stemming from, from pain and possibly a fear of being hurt. Let's see strength. The High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this person was like presenting themselves as stronger than what they are. So they may have appeared a little bit detached during certain times or just, or maybe even the opposite. Um, and when I say the opposite, I mean like just coming off as very, very strong, like, you know, I want this or I expect this and this is what I want. Um, possibly even, you know, acting very, very independent, for example, okay? So it's like one extreme or the other. And yeah, that's not really, that's not really the case. Whatever they were presenting, is not really what was going on inside them. They were holding back from, you know, something that they truly feel or just hiding, you know, um, certain emotions or certain insecurities. And especially, I feel like, you know, whatever that fear of pain or, you know, past wounds that may have been triggered. But again, you know, as I said before, I feel like they are, they are working on this again, through this connection. So let's see the page of wands. Right, the king of pentacles, ooh, and the hermit. Okay, so Virgo. And I feel like we did have quite a bit of earth, I think. And I think we had quite a bit of earth in Scorpio's reading as well. Okay. Interesting. It's like things are things do seem like they're getting lighter and I do actually see this person being a little bit more open towards, you know, the way things were, possibly seeing it in a different way or just, you know, like they're just being a major lesson in terms of the seriousness of before or the way that you were coming off in terms of commitment. So this is actually, <clears throat> this is actually pretty positive here, all right, for this person. Just, you know, being open to a new way of doing things, seeing, okay, you know, how can we bring this stability back, but in a different way. 
Um, they might not be talking about it just yet because with the Hermit and especially because we also have the High Priestess, I feel like they're kind of keeping this to themselves maybe or just figuring it out internally first before, before they externally express it um, with you. But it is there, and the openness and the enthusiasm for that is there. And I feel like they're, it's like they're almost thinking creatively in terms of, okay, how can we bring that back, right? That King of Pentacles energy, the stability, um, but in a different way where it can actually work and where we can actually be compatible. But again, it's like they're staying quiet about it for now. Let's see the Five of Wands. All right, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it does feel like there is still a little bit of, of a challenge here, a little bit of a struggle, um, a little bit of just trying to sort things out. But as I said initially with this card, it's kind of like that that needs to happen in order to be able to come back to that. It's like finding a way to have that stability <clears throat> as well as that lightheartedness and you know being able to enjoy it at the same time right so it is a slow progress and you know there is some anxiety and stress attached to that and I feel like that's only because you know the both of you have such deep emotions for each other I mean if you didn't then otherwise you know we wouldn't have this nine of swords like things would just be easy peasy and you know who cares but then things would also be more superficial and that's the thing, it's not superficial. This, this does run deep. And so that's why, you know, it's like when the two of you don't agree or when you feel like, you know, there's love but we're not compatible, then it can feel very, very stressful. But it's because of that, um, <clears throat> that because of that love, you know, that even if certain things do feel incompatible, that's what forces you to become more creative and find a way for things to work. But before that happens, it's like you have to see what your differences are. And so I feel like that's what this is. <clears throat> and then through that, you're slowly building up a plan, the two of you together, to move towards that <clears throat> three of cups. Right? Like a reconciliation where this connection can be enjoyable. <clears throat> I don't know what just happened to my throat. It's been like this all day. So... <clears throat> Really sorry about that. Let's see. Pisces, if this resonated. The final message for you. And we have full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So yeah, it does feel like it's been tough. And I feel like it still has a little way to go. But the end is approaching. All right, Pisces, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.